Welcome to this week's edition of NC Transportation Now. I'm Crystal Feldman. With repairs underway from two record flood events over the past two weeks, the state is now preparing for the arrival of Hurricane Matthew. Crews stand ready to respond as necessary to make sure all travelers remain safe. In another important safety effort, on Monday, Transportation Secretary Nick Tennyson announced a new initiative that brings together multiple agencies and stakeholders to engineer safer roads, educate all road users, and enforce life-saving traffic laws with the ultimate goal of eliminating deaths on North Carolina's roadways. The immediate goal of NC Vision Zero is to cut roadway fatalities and serious injuries in half in the next 15 years, with a long-term target of zero deaths on North Carolina roadways. Over the past 10 years, we've achieved 148 zero fatality days, including several consecutive days. And again, just to talk about the possibility of this, this is, this is definitely an achievable goal to cutting them in half because we're down almost 4% for the year this year. If we can keep that up, then we definitely would more than achieve cutting by half. More information about NC Vision Zero can be found at ncvisionzero.org. North Carolina is home to more than 10,000 manufacturers that employ more than 461,000 North Carolinians. And since Governor McCrory entered office in January 2013, North Carolina has added more than 300,000 net new jobs, including 19,800 manufacturing positions. In recognition of the critical role of manufacturing in North Carolina's economy, Governor McCrory has proclaimed October 3rd through 7th as North Carolina Manufacturing Week. To highlight how the state is working with local communities to support the manufacturing industry, Secretary Tennyson visited the Craven County Industrial Park to tour manufacturing facilities and meet with economic development officials. Governor McCrory recently announced that the park is one of three new magnet sites included in the recent expansion of Foreign Trade Zone 214 in southeastern North Carolina. This expansion will help make the area more attractive to businesses, particularly manufacturing facilities, and increase its competitiveness in global trade, a key part of the governor's 25-year vision for transportation in North Carolina. On Wednesday, students from across the state participated in International Walk to School Day, a global event that involves communities from more than 40 countries walking and biking to school on the same day. Secretary Tennyson joined nearly 200 students, parents, and community members who walked to Kahn Magnet Elementary School of Entrepreneurial Design in Raleigh, which hosted North Carolina's statewide celebration. Walk to School Day helps raise awareness of the need to create and utilize safer routes for walking and cycling, while also emphasizing the importance of physical activity, pedestrian safety, reducing traffic congestion, and environmental stewardship. Numerous schools throughout North Carolina participate in this annual event. That's all for this week's edition of NC Transportation Now. As always, stay connected with us through Facebook and Twitter. That's at NCDOT. And from everyone here at the North Carolina Department of Transportation, safe travels.